Hi, this is Robin with Stamp with Dr. Robin. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in San Diego, California, where it's sunny. It's so exciting to be sunny and not be raining. Um, so having a beautiful but crisp day, you know, when it only goes up to the 50s or 60 in San Diego, we call this cold. So I know most of you would not call that cold, but that's cold in our world. Just trying to check my phone to see if we are actually live and it looks like we are so that's good so welcome if anyone's here hey Lori thanks for joining me so I'm not talking to myself although I, I get used to that that whole talking to nobody um, anyway so today we're gonna make a card with the adorable owls and it's gonna be a moving card with some special something that's all I'm going to say right now. So um, I don't have anything real new to report with Stampin' Up! at this point. Um, we're still doing Celebration where you get free product with a $50 or $100 order. And I'm going to be using basically almost everything is, is free product. Um, and yes, you can order from the new mini catalog. You can order from the, the big annual catalog, 50 bucks. Here's your free product. Um, let me know if you need anything. I put my email on here and um, we'll go from there. Remember, there's also the wonderful joining special where for $99 and no uh, tax, or no, there is tax, no shipping, sorry. Um, you get at this point 100, and, I believe it's $175 worth of product instead of the 125. So that's a tremendous deal. So if you even have about $85 or so worth of product that you like, you should go for it. And the reason I say 85 and not 99 is because you're also getting that free free shipping thrown in there. They actually also send you a paper pumpkin. That's another $20 or so worth of product that you're getting. So fun, fun, fun. Um, also I want to remind those of you who are local, let me just check the date. Sunday, February 5th is going to be our next class. Um, one thing I know we're going to use is the bunny punch. I'm going to order that as soon as I'm done here because I'm real worried that the bunny punch is going to sell out before spring and Easter. So if you're thinking I'm going to use that bunny punch for um, stuff coming up in your life, I would get it now. Um, because they're already out of this punch that we're actually going to use today, the punch with the hearts. They've already completely sold out of that, and it's not even back until middle of April. So that is not a good thing. I'm hoping I'm still going here because on my phone we're frozen. Dang. I hope that's just my phone. Um, so I'm going to put you down so you can see what we're doing here. Laurie, tell me if it's working okay where you are, because like I said, it's frozen on my phone, so I'm hoping everything looks okay. So I'm in the Celebration catalog, and we are going to be working with these adorable owls, because, I, I don't know, I, whenever I see the little, the little animals that Stampin' Up! has for us, I, um, I look at these and I go, oh, thank you, Laurie. Um, and I go, okay, am I sure I'm going to use these? And then, of course, I see people doing some adorable things. And these owls are so cute. And then the other thing, and they're free with a $50 order, is we're going to be using this paper, this Dandy Designs paper. This is the best deal in here, I think. It's You have to buy $100 worth of stuff, but this is 48 sheets of paper. This is like... A four pack basically of paper and it's free so free is good hey Doris glad you could join us today so like I said I think this is the best best deal in here and this is the um, card that we're gonna make with our adorable owls so I don't know if you can notice it from here but this card moves is that not the cutest thing ever <clears throat> so the way this this card moves is with this thing called wobbles so I will have to go back on I got them off of Amazon 
and they're about, I don't know, a half inch or so by about three quarters of an inch. They come in different sizes, so I'm going to go look at, um, uh, on Amazon, I'll try to put the link on here, but they're by Hampton Art and get the one with the little pink because this to me is the is the perfect size um but i just think this is so adorable how you can make it wobble so i'll teach you about wobbles so let's let's get going here so first thing we're gonna do is make our owl and we do need our piercing mat because it is a photopolymer oh no we don't need it we need it for some of our sayings, so get rid of it. It is not a photopolymer. It is a red rubber. So for the red rubber, because it has that, that cushion, you do not need to have um, your uh, piercing mat. So I'm using Memento ink. Memento ink is the best thing to use when you're going to want to be coloring it with your blends. Um, if you're going to be coloring with um, anything that has to do with water, like your watercolor pencils or things like that, then you want to use your stays on ink. But I'm going to be using blends. And I'm going to start with my petal pink blend. And I'm using the dark one. And for some reason, I don't know why, that point just decided to stop working. So... I usually, when I'm doing smaller areas like this, like to use the bullet point, but partway through when I was coloring this the first time, it decided the bullet point wasn't going to work, and I don't know enough about how these work to try to figure out why. So, pivot to using the brush end. Now you could do this in the light petal pink and do some more shading, which, you know, using the light and dark petal pink blend. But really, I decided that I wanted the more vibrant colors. And I basically picked the colors for the owls straight out of my designer series paper. So the designer series paper that I'm using, and we'll put a little bit in the ears, is <clears throat> from um, that Dandy Designs. And it has the petal pink, and it has this, which is the Fresh Freesia. So this is the dark Fresh Freesia. Don't be afraid to turn your paper if it makes it easier to do this. And also when you're using the blends, you kind of want to not, at least at the start, you want to kind of not go all right up to the edge usually because they do actually bleed a little bit. So when I'm starting any sort of coloring, I will usually kind of not be right at the edge there. And who's to say our owls can't be fresh freesia and petal pink, right? As the artist, you get to decide. And this is the light fresh freesia that I'm doing on his little wings. Now this is, I chose this owl. There's actually, let me bring back the Thing. There's three little owls in here. So one is what I call the birthday owl. One is the flying owl. And this owl has got the bow tie, which I think is just adorable. And I'm going to do the bow tie. I'm just going to go along these little lines and do the center one in, um, what is this, dark smoky slate. And then I'm going to come in with my light. Although, to me, they almost look the same color, but it does give a little bit of shading to the bow tie. The other thing you can do that would be really cute for the shading here is you can, um, or excuse me, for the bow tie, stamp this on a designer series paper and then just cut out the bow tie there. 
And then I'm going to use some Calypso Coral. This is the dark Calypso Coral for his little feet. And his little beak. I have no idea what color owl's beaks are. And I'm going to go back and pick that light smoky slate for his eyes. I didn't want to throw another color in and I figured I'd already use this one. And since there's lots of members of my family with gray eyes, I figured that would be good. All right, so our owl is done. And then the only other thing we have to do is do a little stamping for our sentiment. So this little sentiment piece, I know most of you like to do stamp your sentiment first and cut it out, but for saving time, I will often cut them out first. And this is from the stylish shapes. So if you're going to have any die set anywhere, this is the one because I'm using this little short fat guy here. Um, and then we've got some Calypso Coral ink that I may have just put my hand in. And I'm using the little sentiment that came with this, Woot Woot, You're So Cute. Yay! Then I'll put that aside. Well, actually, no, I'm not. I'll leave it out. This is why I got out my actual um, piercing mat is for the inside because I'm actually going to make this a Valentine's Day card. You're so cute. And then it's going to say Happy Valentine's Day. And we're going to take, and where did that come from, you ask? I can hear you through the through the phone here. That actually came from the Country Bouquet set, the Happy Valentine's Day, as did these adorable little hearts that I'm going to put coming up the side here. They look really good coming up on the side of a um, of an envelope too. In fact, let's let's do that before we forget. So you can put that those cute little hearts and there are also some open just lined hearts too. Isn't that whoops a little smushy there but you get the picture. All right we'll have to fix that for when it really goes out. And I think that's pretty much it for our our stamping. So let's put this together. Oh, well, we'll get there when we get there. So I have a regular Fresh Freesia card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we're just going to fold it on the score lines. Front and back. Just give it a good score. And then for the front, I have, remember that dandy, I've showed it to you a few times in terms of being able to, to see all the different ones. But I, hopefully you can see that one does have a little pattern in the petal paint. smush on that one. Oh well. And I believe this one is the same. <clears throat> Wish I noticed that smush, then I would have turned it over, right? And I made them this way so that there was a little overlap. I find that easier to have a little overlap here. And then I got a piece of just the little fresh freesia and it's half an inch by four also you know if you have a, a thick ribbon you can put that on it um but i didn't so this is kind of my fresh freesia 
ribbon, so called. And then, um, oh, I forgot to tell you, this circle that I stamped the owl on, as well as the circle that is um, scalloped, both came from the layering circles dies. This one is the second to largest, and this is the one that fits right on it. I mean, overall, this is a pretty easy card. I could see, you know, if you were going to make a whole ton, this would be pretty easy to do. I'd probably, you know, have a, a little, um, you know, put it even on the Stamparatus, stamp a lot of them, and then sit in front of the TV and make a bunch of them. And then I decided that this guy needed a little heart to make it truly a Valentine. So again, this is some of the paper from the same um, paper pack. And I am just going to cut out a little section here and take my Country Bouquet uh, uh, punch and I'm going to punch out that little that little circle. So I can just oh that looks cool with you can see that with the little stars in there. All right, so I'm going to put that little guy on with a um, little mini dimensional or maybe a big one will fit let's check it out mm, that's a little too big let's try a mini dimensional because I want it to be able to kind of hang part way over the side here like that and then what I'm going to do is pretend that this is actually a little balloon and I've got my basic black marker. Now I don't have a ton of these markers because now you've got to buy them the whole set of them but the basic black is one of the ones you can buy separately and we've got two different ends on it. More of a coloring end and I'm going to use this one that's you can use to write. It's kind of nice sometimes to write you know if you've got colored ones. And I just wanted him to hold that little balloon like that. All right, now here's the, ex the fun part, which is we're gonna use our little wobbles. So I'm gonna take a little wobble here. One wants to come out and play. And what we're gonna do is see the little plastic and then there's like a little spring like that. So what I'm gonna do is it's, and it's got like a, um, self-adhesive part once you take that off. Take that off, stick it to the back, and then it has another little uh, paper to take off. And then you can stick it to the front like that. And then he wobbles. Is that not the cute? And so this will fit just fine in a regular, um, a regular envelope. And then we'll get our regular dimensionals to put our saying on the bottom. And then we'll put our inside in. And I think these are probably going to go to my kids, so don't tell them, because I do think they're so cute. Now my kids are adults, but I still think they'll think that this is really adorable. So what do you think? Oh, hey, Linda. We got a thumbs up. Hi, Cindy. I think the cutest thing is the wobble. I, was, I have actually had these wobbles for a while and hadn't used them, so I decided it was definitely time. Oh, I know what I didn't put on here because I just covered them up. Is, of course, we need a little bling, right? Always need a little bling. So I've got my little champagne rhinestones here. And I'm going to use, let's use a big one this time. 
So one of the big ones, one of the medium ones. I've got my little take your pick tool, which I think is the greatest thing for picking these up. And then maybe just put one up in here. There we go. Bling just makes everything better. All right, so we got our two little our two little guys here, and I wanted to show you a few more other. Um, yeah, I love the wobbles too, Lori. I wanted to show you a couple other ones that I made using this same adorable owl set. So this one is using. Oh, what's the name of that paper set? Using more, and it's a it's a host paper set. Um, meaning that you have to spend or have friends spend with you um, $150 or more and then post for all of those. those are the same ones and um, this is one of those 48 packs of paper thank you Doris and it's just bright and cheery this is the one that we just used I love this one um, and I think it was $15 or $18 or something like that. And it's basically like a, a quadruple pack of paper. This is the other one I used on it. You know, this will go really nice with that Regency Park set. And I just got that set, actually, that I haven't even played with. Oh, there's another pretty one. So... nice. I don't think I'd taken them all out yet and even looked at them either, so we get to look at them together. So that's from this set. Um, and I didn't make this one wobble, sorry. And then this one's a little fancy fold card. Um, the... Oh, what's it called? I forgot the name of the set this is in, but... Um, goes with the really cool dies. Oh well, I will write it down when I get this on my blog. Um, and on this this actual uh, sentiment, these two sentiments go together as one sentiment. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration and I actually cut it apart. So it was one of these um, uh, cling stamps and I just cut it down because I thought this would be a perfect inside sentiment. Now here's my really fun one. Um, and this is a slimline card. And it is, what did I make this? Eight, I believe eight and a half by three and three quarters. Again, got your wobble, and this time the owl has a little mortarboard and has a little diploma. Um, this will eventually go to my to my niece, um, who's graduating in May. And I used the new um, alphabet dies that I wanted to show you. A co just a couple things on them. They're really skinny, and so I finally used my uh, adhesive sheets, and that's really the way to go. So you put on the adhesive sheet and cut it out. And then the other thing I realized, because someone had said, oh, look, they've got all these um, uh, exclamation point and stuff, but they, they didn't have a question mark, because I wanted to use the who, 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 get it? And so what I did is I went looking for through all of the dies to see, well, could I use an S or whatever? And so I found my question mark in my two. Isn't that cool? And there actually is a die that cuts out. Here, I'll show you how I did it. Um, there is a die that cuts out little dots, you know, like for the end of a sentence. And I just use that at the bottom of my exclamation point. So don't be afraid to just kind of look and see. And I know there's a lot of people even better than I am at doing things like turning stuff upside down and, and seeing different things in them. So grab yourself some wobbles and the adorable owls and have some fun. Put you back up. 
and I will see you next week again same time same place at um, one o'clock pacific time and have a great re week you guys and let me know if you need anything take care bye